Michael, go and drop in front of a truck right now. Now, 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 go and drop in front of, drop from where you are and break your head and smash. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. You know, I'm making this video because this is urgent. And I'm saying it's urgent because of the so-called online in-laws have a big part to play. Especially when they are leaving comments on the Emeka, Emeka EK's uh, uh, platforms and, or leaving comments all over social media. The way this thing is going, the way this thing is going, this Emeka looks like he's hungry for blood. This is maker the way it's going. It's like he would not rest until there's blood. When I say blood, you know what I mean? End of somebody's life. This is why some people need to be telling him to calm down. You know, people have been asking me my opinion about this topic all this while. If I say anything else, I'll let you guys listen to this audio. And then I come back eh, and say what else I have to say. This is a voice note that a maker he came left for his son. I'll let you guys listen to it. Michael, go and jump in front of a truck right now. Now, 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 go and drop in front of, jump from where you are and break your head and smash it. You are my stress. You are my problem. Go and do that now, 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 now. Don't do it tomorrow. I want to hear it. Idiot. I think I'll let you blackmail me and I will still get your mother. Ha <laughs> I will still get your mother. <laughs> Is it Ken? Ah, Ken. Okay. That, that voice note is not a joke. It is not a kind of a message a father should be leaving for his son. People have been asking for my opinion about this matter. One, I've been a bit busy. Secondly, I was trying to get more. When he did his interview, there was not, some things didn't add up. So I didn't know what to say. Some of them didn't really add up. So I was like, okay, let me wait. Uh, you know, let me wait and understand what is going on. The wife has come and done her own um interview i will address all this later but i want to speak on this aspect of about this voice note you know this is this is very sad this is really sad because that voice note from a father to his son for what reason he don't reach like that he don't reach and the thing i don't understand is this if they broke up how many years ago more than 10 years ago how do you come back and the anger the anger is so fresh as if it happened today. How does, you understand, this man, I'm telling you guys, please, when you people are leaving comments for him on his platform, be telling him to be coming down. Imagine telling his son this, and listen to what he said. He said, your mother, I'm still coming for your mother. When you hear that, it then makes you question that, it makes you question this so-called comeback. They say this man is living in Germany. He came back from Germany. The next or the like is like the best way he could relaunch himself or in, reintroduce himself to Nigerian society or to bring his presence back into the Nigerian scene is to grant an interview that was like it is something that has happened ages ago. If he said you see, the matter of property, we can talk about that one. Like I said, this is not my real video that I want to do about this topic. But this is, I'm making this video now, and I'm going to post it straight away. This is a new, uh, sorry, this is a Christmas Eve, 24th, right? Night. You can see I'm ready to go to bed. I was just relaxing. I'm in bed, just getting ready to, like, you know, the way you just check the internet before you fall asleep. And then I just saw that, and I just came across that audio where he's telling his son, to jump in front of a truck or guinea day or guinea and this man is talking and i'm like the way he's speaking you're wondering is it the anger that is so hot or is there something going on in his head listen to that audio and then when he said oh sorry going back to what i was saying uh, i'm still coming for your mother that sounds really terrible that is a threat people are saying okay he came out to say she took all his properties and all of that like I said, we can sit down and discuss those, those other aspects because everybody is saying, oh, you took, they are, I'm seeing comments under this uh, interview of the wife. Oh, you took all his property. You took all his property. We can, like I said, there are some things about that property that I will bring out some of the evidence that I have seen that makes some of the things this Emeka is saying doesn't really add up. I did not say he's lying, no. I'm saying it does not really add up. In spite of that, in spite of that, I'm making this video because property and human life are not the same. Properties and human lives are not the same. He's threatening his son. He's threatening his wife. The human life and property 
properties are not the same. At the same time, isn't it sad? Let's let's call a spade a spade. Isn't it sad that you know Christmas season when his children should be relaxed and enjoy Christmas like every other family out there? Is, does he not think that this timing is wrong? I can we can talk about tomorrow whether he has the right to speak or of course everybody have right to speak. But sometimes, as a father, as a parent, a parent can decide to say, okay, if you say you want to do drama, for example. This is my opinion. If parent can say it's Christmas time, let me allow my children to enjoy Christmas in peace. After Christmas, Christmas, I will start what I want to do. Because you see, Christmas is once a year. Like this is why me, I didn't want to get to this topic. Christmas is the one of the only time, or maybe people's birthdays. Christmas is the only time a lot of people relax. I want to have a good time. Christmas is the one time people decide to eat as they like and not give a damn about weight gain. Christmas is the time where people sit down and say all the stress of the whole year. Let's relax and just enjoy. Look at this timing. Does the maker need this drama right now? From what I'm seeing, he's sounding like a man that came back to Nigeria with so much anger built up. With so much anger built up that he's like he's not thinking straight. The question again is if this marriage broke up and this whole thing he's talking about happened ages ago, why is his anger? Why is his why is his anger hot as if it happened today? And apparently he has been granting interview. The wife or the ex-wife never came out to speak once. Because if she came out to speak, we will say, okay, maybe because she spoke, that's why he went and granted that interview. She has been quiet all these years. So how many interviews will somebody do to address a broken marriage of her? How long ago? And then this man is, okay, something else I want to say. Like I said, it's not going to be a long one. I am divided about the idea of the his son getting involved in this, uh, in this interview or in the parent drama. I am a bit divided. The idea of the son then coming in between, publicly coming in between, right? That is debatable, but I'm just saying. Because I think it would have been better if the woman faced the man and they can face each other and keep the children out. It would have, that's, okay, I, I, I may change my mind tomorrow, but that's how I feel right now. So going back to what I'm saying, that voice note is bad. It looks really bad. It is worrying to see. Another area, like I said, it's going to be, a, I'm going to sit down and make a proper video. This man is in a new relationship with, I don't know how many children they have in that new relationship. But from what we are seeing, he doesn't look like someone that has moved on. I will keep it, I will leave it here because I'm going to end up saying a lot of stuff. But what I'm saying is this, those of you that are supporting the wife who are supporting the, 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 the man who, let's understand the fact that this is a festive season. First thing first. His children deserve to have a lovely, peaceful Christmas. That is one. Secondly, that voice note, it sounds really bad. No matter what you think about his alleged, she took his property, she took his, she took whatever. We cannot equate property to human life. That or Joel is telling his son that he don't have to wait for me to do it. Go and do it yourself. So it's almost like, it sounds like, if it, from that I'm just saying, because if you say, don't wait for me to do it, that means you're planning to do it. So don't wait for me to do it. Do it yourself. That man, his anger is very hot. People need to encourage him to calm down. Those that are putting fire in this matter, please stop it. Encourage this man to be calming down. There are a lot of, other, there are a lot of ways to address topics like this. But to get to the point where he's threatening the mother of his children and he's threatening his son, uh, it's not good. I'm going to leave it here. Like I said, I will sit down properly and make a proper video and show you guys some of the receipts that I have seen. And, uh, and then you can make up your mind what you think about it. I'll leave it here for now. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Bye.